Doing More is brought to you by SDCCU. It's not big bank banking, it's better. Feeding San Diego, ending hunger through food rescue. And Procopio, San Diego's largest law firm, committed to community, representing San Diegans for more than 75 years. Welcome to Doing More, I'm Erica Cardenas and happy holidays. Tis the season to celebrate the most wonderful time of the year through shimmering lights, decorative Christmas trees, gifts, and most importantly, the spirit of giving. No matter which tradition you celebrate during the holidays, December is known to be the most charitable month of the year. From its heartwarming and joyous occasions to the experience of a heightened spirit of giving, the winter holidays is a season when we're more likely to volunteer with organizations that serve those in need. More importantly, it's a time of year when we all seem to follow a theme of harmony that spreads love, joy, and peace. Which is why we decided to visit Mary Main Street located in Mesa, Arizona. Mary Main Street is a winter wonderland filled with sparkling lights, a 40-foot Christmas tree, ice skating, and much more. Take a look. This is the eighth year of Mary Main Street, where we're uh, kind of doubling down on a tradition that's always been in, in Mesa, which is that downtown Mesa is a great place to celebrate the holidays. So we have a long tradition of downtown Mesa being a great place to come and with your family to celebrate the holidays. We have really wonderful, very affordable, family-oriented holiday amenities in downtown. On McDonald, just a few blocks from here, is uh, the four-story Chamber of Commerce Christmas tree. Santa Claus will be there uh, every weekend and th from now through uh, through Christmas Eve. It's a great place to take a family photo. Really big, beautiful Christmas tree there, and that's open every night. I'm standing in front of the Winter Wonderland Ice Rink. We've had this for the last eight years in downtown Mesa. This year, it's bigger and better than it has been before. This is open every day, weekdays, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., and then on the weekends from noon to 10 p.m. Very close by is the LDS Temple. That's open all the way through the 1st of January as well. 100% free, world-class Christmas lights display. Right across from the temple in the City of Mesa Pioneer Park, we have a food truck festival. This is uh, very family-oriented, very affordable. It's all in close proximity. The light rail connects all of it. If you're looking for an affordable place to celebrate the holidays, come to downtown Mesa. It's a really great place for a family to celebrate the holidays. So we do try to prioritize uh, education and parks and parks and rec programs and museums and art centers, you know, the kind of things that we think will help make uh, for great memories uh, for families and, and great experiences for kids growing up. A lot of great businesses came together and created this four-story, you know, very beautiful Christmas tree. The same is true for the ice rink. We have corporate sponsors that have made generous donations that allow us to supplement the city's resources and make this available to people. Cox has always been a great partner for the city of Mesa. They provide great, great services, uh, but uh, in addition to that, they've been very involved in, in the important causes in our community, and, and that includes Mary Main Street. So we're particularly appreciative to Cox for helping us to make this ice rink possible. If you haven't been to downtown Mesa for a few years, you, you really won't recognize it. There's a lot of brand new, very good restaurants. Uh, the Mesa Art Center continues to be a world-class facility. Uh, the brand new ASU campus in downtown Mesa. There's a lot going on down here. But that creates a backdrop and some resources for families to come down here and really uh, create some, some great memories. We would welcome everyone to come to downtown Mesa and enjoy Merry Main Street. We've got a lot of great activities, huge Christmas trees, ice rinks, Christmas lights displays, please come down, take, come visit us on the light rail and enjoy Mary Main Street in downtown Mesa. Other Mary Main Street holiday activities taking place at various times throughout the season are Santa's Mary Makers Marketplace, where local crafters and artisans will be selling craft and foods, the return of the Mesa Temple Christmas lights, a food truck forest at Pioneer Park, shows at the Mesa Art Center and visits with Santa. For more information, go to MaryMainST.com. What a great way to celebrate and enjoy the holidays. 
I'll be back with more on Doing More right after this. Welcome back to Doing More, where we shine a light on the good things happening in our communities. I'm here in Mary Main Street. I'm getting ready to hit the ice, celebrating the most wonderful time of the year. Did you know that December is a month that is recognized for its holy observances, such as Hanukkah and Christmas? In Christian tradition, it's a time that marks the birth of Jesus Christ and revolves around the concept of giving and spreading joy. The three major holidays celebrated with family and friends are Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. It's a time when we reflect on how grateful we are for the blessings bestowed upon our families. Take a look how Cox Las Vegas partnered with the Raiders Foundation to honor our men and women who served our country. Today we're participating with the Raiders here at the uh, Veterans Home in Boulder City. Residents of the Southern Nevada State Veterans Home look forward to this day every November. And to be able to come out and thank each and every one of you guys on behalf of the Raiders. They're really excited. We have a lot of sports fans here. Go Raiders! Raiders! Woo! So when we have teams come out here like the Raiders and we have Cox that come out here, you know, it really shows them that the community hasn't forgotten them. They're not going to forget them and they'll do whatever they can, you know, to bring um, the socialization to them. We're proud to be here and not just this time of year, but we're thinking about you guys year round. So it's a place of honor to be here and, and say thank you guys. They say that we're warriors. Yeah, we're athletes. You guys are true warriors. And that's what truly matters. In honor of all who have served our country, Cox Las Vegas partnered with the Raiders Foundation. Alan Stevenson, a military veteran who works for Cox, beams with pride. Absolutely, you know, I think about all the years I served in the military and then to come here and hear some of their stories and hear how they really appreciate the community partnerships and us coming and just giving back and saying we thank them and appreciate them on Veterans Day weekend is really is big for me. How are you? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Raiders alumni along with the Raiderettes joined members of Cox's Salute Employee Resource Group to distribute Raiders themed gift bags and thank veterans for their service. Well, I think there's a certain familiarity having a, a father who's a disabled veteran. These people deserve to be celebrated for what they, the sacrifice they made. And, you know, I celebrate my father and this is a small token of my appreciation just being here and, and, and letting them know that we see him and we care. The guys are just real. I can tell they're, you know, <laughs> it, it, it means a lot to us. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, anytime you feel appreciated, I mean, it was an honor to do it. You can tell how much we mean to them when they come out to these events, and that means a lot. Salute to Service is a league-wide initiative designed to honor, empower, and connect with current service members, veterans, and their families. To be able to just be invited is special. And then to be able to be invited to a facility such as this is even more special. So to come out and salute them and tell them thank you, come on. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. What you've done, you know, to provide all this for us, we definitely thank you for it and we understand. Thank you so much for your service. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The Raiders Foundation is committed to supporting active military and veterans, youth development, and growing the game of football. All donations will benefit the Nevada community. For more information, go to Raiders.com. We travel to Louisiana to visit an organization whose mission is to lead, educate, inspire, preserve, and sustain its community's trees and green spaces. Take a look. Batters Green is a 501c3 nonprofit formed in 1987 here in Baton Rouge to help preserve the existing urban canopy and in some cases, if we can, grow the canopy uh, for all the benefits that trees provide the citizens here. My goal as executive director is actually just to keep the wheels on and keep everybody moving because I'm the only non-tree person on the staff. So I try to make sure that we have the funding that we need, the direction that we need, um, and make sure that my team has what they need to do what they want to do because they are passionate, they know what they want to do, and they know how to do it. They're brilliant young uh, professionals and uh, they know a lot about trees. My goal as a tree stewardess is to continue the management of the 4,000 trees within the Living Roadways Project to help continue the uh, benefit that trees provide to the city. 
As the agroforestry equity, co equity coordinator here at Baton Rouge Green, what I do is I extend reliable research into the community in a form of education and practice. Agroforestry is basically growing agricultural products in the forest. So here we're growing citrus fruit at, in underserved communities. And what I do is I increase access to green spaces. I add to the canopy coverage of Baton Rouge and I alleviate food insecurity in underserved areas by planting citrus trees. So my goal as Director of Operations is to make sure that we execute our programming in a safe and meaningful and impactful way to the public. We're doing a lot with really resilient native species and we've got uh, multi-storied structured habitats going in, uh, which is great for urban spaces. We have a statewide outreach program and we've really expanded our network. We're actually helping a lot of other communities too, besides Baton Rouge Green. That's something that's pretty special. My name is Christopher Cooper. I am the program manager of Baton Rouge Green. And uh, we, we have a multitude of programs uh, here at Baton Rouge Green. Uh, everything from right-of-way management to uh, community planting to citrus harvesting and, and care. Within all of those, those programs, we uh, are, are going through the kind of the mission, the aim, the goal of of helping to create a greener Baton Rouge to have equitable access of, uh, of green space and uh, access to trees and the, the many benefits of trees throughout the, the, the region of EBR and beyond. The cool thing about what Baton Rouge Green does is that everybody benefits. So even, uh, even though there's you know, a group of people that uh, tend to support us, anywhere from a $25 membership to thousands of dollars a year for a Living Roadway sponsorship, everybody gets to benefit from those gifts to Baton Rouge Green because we go out and care for trees that literally help everybody in the community. This team is forward thinking, ambitious, and determined to make a positive impact on the forest community in Baton Rouge. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Doing More is brought to you by The Barnes Firm. Car crash? Call The Barnes Firm now at 1-800-8-MILLION. And Alzheimer's San Diego. Are you or someone you love living with dementia? Get free support from the experts at Alzheimer's San Diego. Visit alzsd.org or call 858-492-4400. Welcome back to Doing More, where we shine a light on the good things happening in our communities. I'm Erica Cardenas. We're standing here in front of the Mesa Temple in Mesa, Arizona, celebrating the most wonderful time of the year. We visited PNC Bank as they joined the Surf Soccer family and provided soccer scholarships to inspiring youth. Take a look. Surf Soccer has been around for over 30 years. We're based here in San Diego, but we are the premier national youth sports brand in soccer. Our mission is to create experiences and opportunities for kids, and we do that here mostly in San Diego with our 1,000 kids, but we also do it through our events where we really help kids chase their dreams. PNC Bank sponsorship helps the kids here in a couple of ways. One, it is to continue to help fund facilities like this where the kids can come play soccer. Two, it is really through our scholarship program. There are a lot of kids in San Diego that have incredible levels of talent, but they can't afford to play on a team like surf. And so a lot of our sponsorship dollars go back into scholarships to give an opportunity for kids who are low to moderate income to play on one of the elite teams in the U.S. You have teams from all over the world and specifically from all over the U.S. coming here to compete for the title of best of the best. And that also attracts most of the college coaches here in the country. So we have usually about 700 college coaches here at SURF looking to fill out their rosters. And then we have about 1,000 teams playing over two weekends. We're out here today at the SURF Cup, and there's over 60,000 people that attend this tournament over a two-day weekend. Um, and so everyone from the border in Chula Vista to Oceanside, who has kids that play soccer, are playing soccer here at Del Mar and Oceanside these two weekends. In the 30 year history of Surf Cup, we've actually only allowed three partners to partner with us and be next to our brand. We are incredibly picky about who we have next to our brand because we want to make sure they're mission aligned, right? PNC is literally one of the only people we've ever allowed to be in here as a sponsor because we know how committed they truly are to the community and how committed they truly are to kids. We just felt like this would be the greatest impact to the community and to youth and to get, it, and get to be a part of that, right? To get to have our sponsorship dollars go into scholarships to help kids that can't afford to be on a premier club like this uh, was something really special.
We picked soccer here in San Diego because it is the most played sport for kids. You know, and you think about our environment, um, we've got sun 12 months out of the year. Kids play the sport around the clock. And so we felt like not only do we get this great chance to reach out across the community through this sport, but then our money goes to give back to help kids. Having a partner like PNC who is community oriented and cares about the development of youth in the community is amazing because our missions are completely aligned and we're both driven by helping develop kids and in this case through sport in San Diego. It's exciting to be a part of Surf Soccer for PNC Bank, um, but this is not the end for us, it's just the beginning. We continue to look forward to investing back into youth, arts, and especially the military here. I mean, San Diego is a military town um, and we are giant supporters of the men and women um, that fight for our freedom. We visited Shelter to Soldier in the Barnes firm where we caught up with Barney who was eager to share love and comfort with a fellow military veteran. Take a look. At Shelter to Soldier, being a private nonprofit, we rely on the community, uh, individuals, entities, organizations, and companies that, to support our mission. Thankfully, we have sponsors like the Barnes firm that get behind us. My late brother Steve, Steve Barnes, first had our firm get involved in the sponsorship program. Uh, Steve was a Marine uh, combat veteran. Uh, my dad was a World War II combat veteran. So we come from a family where we, we understand uh, the difficulties that uh, many of our, our veterans uh, face when they come back into uh, civilian life. And uh, this program just seemed like the perfect fit. They've actually sponsored three dogs, one of them being our pal Barney, uh, rescued out of a shelter, believe it or not. And he was named after the late Steve Barnes, which brings a lot of um, personal meaning to the team at the Barnes firm. Today we're catching up with Barney. First session I typically pull him and we're doing what we call two ball. Go boys, ready? We're working on getting some energy out. Throw and he just gets to run around and play ball. Come on, throw. He loves to play ball. Good boys, done, throw. Thank you, sit. Good. Then we move on to training. Heel. Up, up, up. Um, he's gotten some energy out, so I always start with his basic obedience. That's a good boy, sit. And then once we're comfortable in um, his training mood, we start working on his task cues that they use for the veterans. Good boy, center. Here you go. They usually are with us for 12 to 18 months of training in total. Six to nine months of that is weekly sessions with their veteran once they're matched so that we can hand over all of the proper training to their veteran in order to make them successful handlers. Barney is going to be out and about. We're gonna see him at Oceanside Pier so we can see where he's at with his task work and his public access training. Yo. Good boy. Good boy, bud. Wait. He is now in our matching phase of our program. He is meeting eligible veterans in what we call speed dating. How's it going? So we have just uh, recently approved five new veterans for our program. So um, Barney will be meeting every single one of them to see if he is the perfect match for them. Barney's perfect date would be a nice long walk on the beach, especially if there's a ball involved that he can chase. And then he would like to end the night with a nice dinner with his uh, veteran. We gotta find the, the right person for the right dog. We'll be back with more on Doing More right after this. Welcome back to Doing More. We're here at Mary Main Street celebrating the most wonderful time of the year during the holidays. Take a look how Cox Communications celebrated San Diego County teachers for their amazing work and compassion. The 2022 San Diego Cox Presents Salute to Teachers was an amazing evening filled with great entertainment, food and drink, and mingling for the 40 nominated teachers. Only five educators would be selected as the San Diego County 2022-23 Teachers of the Year. But as they say, it's really great just to be nominated. It feels so wonderful to be nominated. It feels 
amazing. The kids at school say, well, it's about time. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to be nominated for an award for your job, and it's a whole other incredible thing to be nominated for an award for this job. Oh, it's incredible. I did not anticipate that this was going to happen, and it's it's been really fun and exciting. The fact that there are 20,000 teachers in San Diego County and to be considered and recognized as a Teacher of the Year in my own district in and of itself is quite an honor. I never saw myself that I would be here, so it's an amazing experience and a great journey to be on. It feels amazing. We work so hard as teachers and we're really doing what comes natural to us and then to be recognized in this way is just beyond anything I could imagine. Oh my gosh, being nominated is just overwhelming. It feels a little bit unreal. It's just so hard to comprehend sometimes. I'm so honored and grateful to be nominated for Teacher of the Year. Being nominated for Teacher of the Year is an extreme honor. It's unreal to be here with all these amazing teachers. I feel like what I'm doing is exactly what I was called to do. Having dedicated my life for 20 years to this career, I would say amazing. It's humbling because I believe everyone in my school deserves a nomination. I work alongside amazing teachers in Fallbrook, so it's quite a privilege to represent them. I feel honored to be nominated Teacher of the Year. I am very grateful and thankful to all my teachers in San Ysidro. It's not just for me, it's for everybody out there that is being champions for kids. You don't go into teaching to be recognized, so it's such a privilege. So I feel unbelievable to be nominated in this profession. I just, I'm so lucky. It's never been more important for this country to have a recognition of what teachers do. So I'm humbled, I'm honored, and I'm encouraged to speak on behalf of the students I have, who I think deserve a greater voice in the world. Watch the full show at SaluteToTeachersSD.com. I want to thank the City of Mesa for allowing us to experience and celebrate the most wonderful time of the year here at Mary Main Street. The most wonderful time of the year is upon us once again. The scent of fresh pine, the warmth of stoked fires, the holiday cheer in the air, and the festive music played in nearly every business are all traits of this wonderful season. The holidays are a classic time for families and friends to come together to celebrate, create memories, and relax after a long year. Whatever your religion or beliefs, the season remains a cheerful time for everyone. I'm Erica Cardenas. Thanks so much for joining me and happy holidays.